Hello and welcome back to Family Summer Camp at Home Edition. This week we're going to explore, learn, and play together with Ruff Ruffman. Ruff is a fast talking, hilarious orange dog who loves to explore, play, learn, and hang out with his friends. Today we're going to explore mixtures, the science of combining different materials. So let's go ahead and start our day with talking about mixtures. A mixture is when you make something new by combining two different ingredients. The kitchen is a great place to explore mixtures, mixing together different ingredients to make something new. Using heat or cooling, those ingredients sometimes change properties and you get a whole new material. Even though it may not seem like it, cooking is chemistry. Today, you're going to watch the Ruff Ruffman video, Mix It Up. In this video, Ruff and his brother Scrap are in the middle of a cooking competition. Watch and see how they handle different mixtures. Once you're done with your video, go ahead and play the Ruff Ruffman game, Cookie Creator. In this game, you're going to predict, explore, revise, and practice what you think is going to happen with different variables that you can change in your mixture. Today, you're going to create two different types of mixtures, one that can be unmixed and one that can't. While you're thinking about mixtures, take some time in your Ruff Ruffman journal and go to your mixture page. On this page, it gives you some space to use your senses. So today we're going to be making trail mix and playing with Play-Doh. While in the journal it does have a recipe to make your own Play-Doh, we went ahead and provided you with two pre-made Play-Dohs which are mixtures themselves. And we're gonna mix those together and explore the different properties. So let's go ahead and start with our trail mix. Turn to the page, my trail mix recipe. This place has some questions for you to think about while you're making your trail mix. Things like, can you see each ingredient in your mix? How does your mix taste? Could you unmix your mix? Go ahead and investigate that. Also think about, could you make it again? So parents, go ahead and gather some ingredients. These can be things like goldfish crackers, pretzels, fruit snacks, chocolate chips, whatever you guys want to add in your mixture that you think is going to taste the best. Once you've thought about what you want to add in it, go ahead, add your ingredients to a plastic baggie and write your recipe down in your mixture page. When you're done with that, we'll move on to our Play-Doh. So with our next mixture, we are going to mix two different Play-Dohs together. Get this one open. So Play-Doh itself is a mixture. You can do homemade Play-Doh if you don't have pre-made Play-Doh at home. There are tons of recipes online to use that you can practice more mixing in the kitchen together. You also, in your Play-Doh um, recipe page, you have a Play-Doh recipe that you're more than welcome to try. So, we talked about trail mix, and in that, I asked you the question of could you unmix it? Can you see all your ingredients? If you can see your ingredients, that is a good sign that your mixture can be unmixed because you can separate these things out individually. So I have two different colored Play-Dohs here. If I smush them together, I can still see the different ingredients. I can see blue and I can see purple, but I really couldn't unmix it if I wanted to. I could maybe try and separate things out, but not easily. Once Play-Doh is mixed together, it's pretty much mixed together. So Play-Doh, making it yourself or exploring mixing your colors together is a good example of a mixture that can't be unmixed. So even though there are two separate ingredients, the blue and the purple, as I keep mixing them, the blue and the purple are sort of going away. They're becoming more a, see that, a dark purple. You can still see the light purple and the blue in there, but it's mixing together and making a new creation. While this is not applying heat or cooling like you do in the kitchen, it is changing it because I am pushing things together. I am pushing these two separate ingredients and making them a new mixture. So instead of a pinky, purpley play-doh and a dark blue play-doh I have now got this mixed together and it's now just a dark blue 
not dark blue, it does sound dark purple Play-Doh. So what you can do if you'd like to make your own mixture, you absolutely can. But in this, you can just describe the two different colors. So how, if you do the recipe, how is it different? If not, just what does your dough feel like? What did you do? What is, what changed with it? Go ahead, take some time to explore these Play-Dohs together and go through your trail mix. Make sure you have everything together you need before we move on to our next step. So the next part is our properties table. So you have trail mix and Play-Doh and it has a series of questions in here. You wanna go through and mark which ones check off. You also have room down here to add your own questions that you had predictions on or that you've noticed with your mixtures. There is plenty of space in here to keep writing and you also have your notes and reflections page. So while you are working with your trail mix and working with your Play-Doh or playing the game, still watching the clip, whichever, think about mixtures. Can you see or taste any of the individual ingredients in a meal? What are they? So sometimes you can taste the individual ingredients in your meal. Sometimes they've combined together and you may get a hint of them, but they've made something new. So this week and today especially, we encourage you to go ahead and explore some more mixtures in the kitchen together as a family. Don't forget to send us your pictures, your videos. We love seeing what you guys are doing and we'll see you back from tomorrow for day two. Bye.